If you've been working with GraphQL long enough, you'll most likely know when you make a request using a GraphQL query, you get a response in the same shape in which you requested it. But did you know that there are different ways to compile and execute the request that you've made? First, we have pass. The GraphQL query string is converted into an abstract syntax tree or AST. The parser checks for any errors. It will then go on to validate. The server checks the AST against the schema. It validates the field names, arguments, and all types are 100% correct. Next, the server will execute your request. In this video, we'll look into how you can compile or resolve those requests to all of your different resolvers differently with a new execution plan that we'll call GraphQL just in time or GraphQL JIT. JIT dynamically compiles an execution plan for each specific query. The first advantage to using JIT is performance. By compiling the query at runtime, using GraphQL JIT eliminates the overhead of parsing and resolving the same query over and over again. Using GraphQL JIT eliminates the overhead of parsing and resolving the same query over and over again. Using GraphQL JIT eliminates the overhead of parsing and resolving the same query over and over again. It generates a highly optimized plan for that specific query, reducing overall execution time and improving the server's responsiveness. This ultimately leads to a better user experience for your users. Next, using JIT reduces network traffic. JIT optimizes the execution plan based on the requested fields, ensuring that the only necessary data that you have requested is fetched from the underlying data sources. This reduces the amount of traffic that you have between service to service. By reducing the computational load on the server and optimizing data fetching, GraphQL JIT can potentially lead to huge cost savings in terms of server infrastructure and bandwidth consumption. Overall, GraphQL JIT is a powerful tool that helps boost the performance of GraphQL servers, enabling faster and more efficient data retrieval while minimizing unnecessary resource usage. Next, let's take a look at some of the limitations to using something like JIT. The compilation may increase the initial latency as it happens at runtime. And if you aren't running queries one after another or they're not complex, well, some of the benefits that we've seen previously may be outweighed with the time that it takes to perform them. Next is the security around using JIT. JIT compilers could introduce additional security risks as they are usually executed and generate machine code. And finally, not all languages are ideal for creating a JIT compiler, unless you're using something lower level like C or Rust. You should definitely look to benchmark your GraphQL JIT implementation. This is a silly example that just shows making a request several times with a very simple query. But as your query complexity grows, you might see the real benefit of implementing something like GraphQL JIT.